Good evening. We're continuing to follow the latest developments in that viral video allegedly showing a woman dragging a small dog behind a motorized scooter downtown. Felony charges have now been filed by the district attorney's office following outrage, even protests after that video surfaced last month. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders joins us live from the Bakersfield Police Department, where Elaine Rose's attorney says she's in the process of turning herself over to authorities. Josh. Yeah, Tim, Jess, Elaine Rose's attorney told 23 ABC she is in the process of turning herself in to Bakersfield Police tonight after the district attorney's office filed charges of animal abuse and neglect against Rosa. You may remember that viral video causing an uproar on social media. That video showing Rosa dragging a dog behind a bird scooter. Rosa is now facing one felony and one misdemeanor charge, which could land her in jail for up to three years and a fine of $20,000. The video was captured by home surveillance cameras in downtown Bakersfield, appearing to show Rosa dragging a small dog on a bird scooter. BPD says the dog wasn't actually hers and was returned to its rightful owner, but it's unclear who actually owns the dog. Rosa was a former employee of the Kern Valley State Prison as a contracted psychologist. Her contract was terminated just days after the video went viral. However, it's unknown if the video played into her termination. I spoke with District Deputy District Attorney Joe Kinzel just moments ago, who explained why it took weeks for her to make a decision on whether to file those charges. Well, it was important for us. We wanted to figure out how far back the the dragging began to the best uh, of our ability. And so obviously we had uh, videos that I think many people have seen, uh, but we wanted to look for other witnesses that may have seen something, even if it's not on video, uh, happening before even that video takes place. Now, Kinzel says he feels both misdemeanor and felony charges are appropriate in this case. We also heard from Elaine Rose's attorney, Bo Koenig, responding tonight, sending out this statement. We were recently advised by law enforcement that official charges have been filed against my client. I've reached out to my client and we plan on cooperating with law enforcement 100%. She is in the process of turning herself over to authorities this evening. Now, guys, again, we're standing outside of Bakersfield Police Department downtown right now. We're continuing to follow to actually see if Rosa does in, indeed turn herself in tonight. We'll continue to bring you the latest information on our social media platforms and website at turn23.com. For now, in downtown Bakersfield, Josh Sanders, 23 ABC News.